Hi and welcome back. We are at the Computing Conference 2018 here in London and next to me is standing Michael Hecht. Uh, he's obviously from Germany. I'm so happy to join me here. Yeah, I'm also very happy to be here. It's an awesome conference with a lot of interesting talks. and Good. Yeah, we're, we're happy to hear that. Now, you call yourself a pure ma mathematician. What yeah. is a pure mathematician? So, I mean, there was one famous mathematician, I guess it was Hilbert, who said, as long as you know for what it's good for the mathematician you do, then it's applied. Uh -huh. <laughs> and <laughs> if you don't, then it's theoretically. Hmm. And uh, so my PhD was really in the theoretical sense. We, I did a uh, lot of differential geometry, PDEs, um, functional analysis, algebraic topology. And then uh, after my PhD, I focused on more applied things. Right, yeah. And so you left the theory? I left a bit the theory and yeah. I tried to, to take the theory to the applications. Mm -hmm. And um, now I'm very glad to be at uh, a computational institute, which is the Max Planck Institute uh, for Cell Biology and Genetics in Dresden, mm -hmm. and associated the Center for Systems Biology. And the mission of the institute is to figure out which mechanisms drive morphogenesis and so which is the question why do embryos evolve how they evolve exactly yeah or tissues and what are the cellular and intercellular processes which are reasonable for this right and and, and, and what is it called exactly morphogenesis morphogenesis okay yeah so it's a theory of how things change over time right and in nature in biology in nature, yes okay. and um, to do this a lot of Data analysis and a lot of uh, simulations are necessary, simulations of PDEs, dynamical right. systems, so which is where I have the theoretical background. Ah. And uh, during the work we did there, I became aware of a problem which pops up almost everywhere, mm -hmm. and this is about interpolating functions. Okay. So you need interpolate functions uh, um, to understand data, you need interpolate functions somewhere to solve differential equations, and what is very famous at the moment is machine learning, which is actually nothing else than interpolating. It interpolates the optimal mapping. Right, it's a series of... You try to understand these weights in a neural network of nothing else can be understood as the coefficients uh -huh. of a nonlinear mapping, which gives you for a given input the optimal solution. Right. And um, so what I can be aware is in classical sense, so in one dimensions, the Newton interpolation is a classical scheme to solve it. Okay. So the famous Sir that Isaac Newton. That's really old, yeah. Yeah, it's really old, and he worked close by here. Yeah. And um, this is a really old scheme, and it works perfectly in, in, in one dimensions. Uh -huh. But actually, nobody knows how to do this in higher dimensions. Okay. And, and in higher dimensions, how should we interpret that? So let's say you have a, a space of dimension 100 or 200, mm -hmm. and you have a function on it, or you have data, which is in this space and you want to understand this mm -hmm. and you want to understand it with respect to a polynomial maybe. You want to have a polynomial in several variables which fits your data. Okay, yeah. And actually nobody is really doing this because all the schemes which try to do this have problems in this dimensional space. Okay. They work for lower dimensions, maybe for dimension yeah. two, then three, four, five. And then they get problems. Okay. And what we more or less accidentally uh, discovered is that we can directly generalize this old classical scheme from, from Isaac Newton. So that's a pretty big breakthrough. Yeah, so I, I would say it's a yeah. groundbreaking new approach, which really allows now to, to, to do exactly what he did, but in multi-dimensional exactly, spaces, yeah. and we can preserve all the nice properties it has, it has the same that performance. That stays intact, yeah. It's, it's still quadratic time running, it's exact, we can, uh, we can estimate our approximation errors mm -hmm. and... Um, and it, it works? It works. We, we have a prototype at the moment. Okay. And it works perfectly and I'm here to, to, to present and to advertise this because I'm, I expect that many things or many, many, many computations which need uh, to deal with multivariate functions, right, yeah. uh, they can profit from it. Um, and, and how can we apply it within the computing sciences area? So, I mean... For instance, if you have a machine learning approach, mm -hmm. then the machine learns quite nicely, it solves your problem, and it's cool that the machine has learned something, but we don't have really uh -huh. learned something. And for instance, this technique could, could help you to understand what has the machine learned. Right. So you, you could understand this uh, uh, mapping. So now it's, it's a black box. 
At now the it's moment. a black box. Okay. And maybe this, for instance, would be an approach, open the door there and, right. and uh, get a bit inside what actually happened there. Okay, and so you've come towards that breakthrough and, and what, what will happen over the next couple of years, do you think? <laughs> I, I can't really estimate this. I don't know. Um, guess. Um, I guess that, or my hope is, as a mathematician, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that something a bit comes back. So, so nowadays, often problems are solved by, by schemes or by computational schemes, which were originally, originally not designed for this. Right. But they work quite well because of the computer power, because of well We can work around it, yeah. Yeah, but actually, I am the opinion that we have to go back a bit in the classical okay. sense that yeah. if you have a problem, then you should really understand the math. You should really go into it and then find the correct solution for this problem. And this will always beat these adaptive things. And in this sense, uh, it's a bit like in, in, in music, right? Mm. So I have to see that because the, the guy of this band here yeah. uh, was a famous producer of bands like Nirvana, Pixies yeah. and so on. And he always encouraged his, his bands do not only the trendy thing, mm -hmm. go on this, he really go Back to, to your, your roots. Yes, yeah. and you will succeed. Okay, well that's a nice call and I, I like that opinion. Yeah. Maybe we can find some other people who, who share your thoughts. Yeah. We'll see over the next couple of years. We'll see. Thank you very much for explaining it in this very brief moment. Thank yeah. you. If you, want if you want to watch any more videos, sorry for the hiccup over there, you can watch them. Feel free to click on them and I'd love to see you later. Bye-bye.